Come and sit down, Lee. Look how smart you look. You look like an off-duty policeman. Look at him. He looks like he's going to court. Your nick, mate. <laughs> You've got the side issues as well. How yeah. are you? You look very well. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I've been taking monkey glands. <laughs> what did the monkeys have to say about that? They're all right about it. <laughs> um, you look great, though. I mean, you're not taking anything. How old are you? Uh, I'm, I'm 41 now. You look really young. He does not look 41, does he? Oh. I mean, I'm 44. I know I probably look about 35. I reckon maybe 32. <laughs> But you look even younger than me. Yeah, well, that's because I'm on the glands. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm very nervous. Sorry, I'm moving about a bit. Why are you nervous? Uh, it's television. <laughs> I can't believe you'd be nervous. We just saw you there at Wembley. How many people were there? Any idea how many of those? Uh, well, 10, we, we put all that in this computer generated. I was in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that must be remarkable, going out in front of that many people. That's actual size, isn't it, Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> that's actual uh, size. Hold it careful. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> huh? You're better in the flesh. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, watch yeah. out. He's trying to pick you up. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's got his body language like he's in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, I'll try my lucky look straight, but you never know. He might be on a weekender. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, OK, uh, Lee has just kicked out on a big new tour around the country. Um, uh, starting in Birmingham, you're playing a few nights at Birmingham, going all around the country, playing yeah. to, in huge venues, I know. Yeah. And you're finishing up again at Wembley Arena, I believe, aren't you? Uh, you're going to finish off at Wembley at the end of the tour. Wow. We've got 30 dates um, uh, starting from now. So starting from... Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, starting from <laughs> Friday... Uh, yes, now. Tonight, this Friday weekend. night. Yes. yes. You're on stage now in Birmingham That's on Friday right. night. Yes, so I am. <laughs> Let's just be vague. <coughs> how, how, how did it go in Birmingham the other night? <laughs> probably, probably great. Yeah, does this go out late at night? Not that late, no. <laughs> but you know what's great is? The great thing is the people watching you in Birmingham, right? <laughs> no, I always think, why do they put... Why do they put the language on for the deaf people at night? <laughs> all they're saying is all deaf people are insomniacs. <laughs> They're saying, it, they're saying, well, it's like they're going, go to bed. <laughs> um, what, what's, uh, what are you doing on the tour? Are you doing anything new, any special? I know it'll be new well, material. Well, I'll be but... doing lots of. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Who is that meant to be? I, you know, I have no idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, um, well, we'd be doing, a, a, you know, a few hours of stand-up comedy, hopefully. I know you're doing stand-up comedy, but I know you like to do a big thing. You often come out, you used to do, and I think sometimes if people request it, you'll still do the big Bohemian Rhapsody finish you used to do. Yeah, sometimes if people ask for it, right, but okay. it is an old set, so I don't like doing it, uh, no. you know, because it's, it's a big. But to... people love seeing you running around. I would say like a monkey, but I don't dare say <laughs> that. No, yeah, it's because, all right. Because it's your right. wife, last time I bumped into your wife somewhere, she said, will you stop calling Lee and say he looks like a monkey? He doesn't look like a monkey. <laughs> Yeah, right. which, yeah, because, um, I, I, yeah, well, I, well, I do, I, I, I think I do, but yeah. she don't. She doesn't like me saying it. She doesn't no. like anyone saying it, and that's nice that she's protective of you. Well, I don't mind, but she set up a little tire for me in the lounge. And, <laughs> you know, she chucks me the odd banana. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, Lee, where do you get your new material from? Do you practice at home? I mean, do you, do you test it out on your family, or do you uh, just test it out in small venues? Where, where yeah, do you do yeah, I do it on my family, you know. <laughs> and if they don't laugh... She gets it. All right. <laughs> Can I just say, yeah. what must it be like living with him? Can yeah. you imagine? Yeah, yeah. No, I do. Yeah, no, I would never do me act in front of you. No, it's not said in there. But you do not try. I mean, are you funny at home? Do you make jokes? No, I'm not at all. No, I, I mean, we don't do any of that stuff. Are you serious? Uh, no, not serious. Like, uh, I'm basically, as you see us here, an idiot. Really. I, but, um, <laughs> uh, I mean, in our house, there's no pictures of me on the wall. Or this. Not, it's really not mentioned. Yeah, I suppose uh, not. I, so I, it's not a showbiz house. Because you, uh, you live in Kentstow, where you've, you've lived in that area all your life, in Essex, haven't you? Um, you well, we, I, I was actually born in Bristol, uh, and then I moved over to um, just outside London when I was about 13 uh, there. And that's when I met my wife there at school, and then we got married... Um, uh, after we left school, so I met when I was about 16. How sweet that is. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? But, like, you know, she can all take a punch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll we've, say, we've well, mocked the death, the morning, and I'll now go you're going doing wife abuse material. Yeah. 
she'd be all right with that. Hey. She could kick my teeth in, I tell you, my she's, she seems pretty tough, actually. I don't mean that in a horrible way. I mean, she ah. seems like she knows her mind. She's absolutely... I love so, her so hold on a second. So you, got married, so you got married when you were 16 or 17? Uh, we was 18. We 18, got okay. Yeah. And you're now, so you've been married for what, 21? 21 years, years, yeah. Wow, and yeah. that's really, these days, very unusual. I mean, I don't She's a are... wonderful woman, though. I mean, I got really lucky because when I was at school, I was, um, well, I was a bit of an idiot, really. Look, not much from now, what you see now. <laughs> but, um, but I made her laugh a lot, and I think I, I got lucky because she's, as we've grown, she's flourished into this beautiful woman. Oh. And I've sort of gone back in time <laughs> to an ape man. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I will know, get blamed for that. You know I, that, I'm don't you? I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, but I, I mean, I did. I, I mean, I've got really lucky. She's so do you, now, beautiful. do you feel? Can I ask you? This is quite a personal question, but do you feel like you love her now more than when you got married, John? I think I do. You know, I, I really do. Yeah. Although I think in a moment she's going through a change. <laughs> I'm sure she'd love you to talk about that. Well, it, to be honest with you, I said, look, get some patches or something. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. What? <laughs> I, well, I walk uh, in the kitchen. I, look, at, um, this is true. I walk in the kitchen some days and she'd be by the sink doing this with her just facing out the window going like that. <laughs> and I think, aye, aye, here we go. Like that. <laughs> and then she, I, I'd say, you all right, Ev? And then she'd suddenly turn around and go, all right. Of course I'm not all right, and then storm out. <laughs> and I'm like, please get some patches. <laughs> well, it's like, I tell you, in the morning her temperature's one temperature, in the afternoon it's something else, and then there's the tears. It's like living with a Morphe Richards kettle. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just establish once again, you love her more now than you did 21 years ago. This is. Let, let's look at that something. How did you celebrate the anniversary? Did you do something oh, special we went for your to, 21st? Uh, well, I was touring, so she came over to see me in Dublin. And, but because we'd been touring for months, I, I was so tired. She wanted to reminisce about how we first met. And well, you would, on an evening like that, especially 21 years. Oh, well, she was that, yeah. saying stuff like, Worry, I'm having a steak and chips at the, in a restaurant, and I'm sort of digging at my steak. I've just done a gig and all that. And she's going, Remember that flat we had that was the real dump? <laughs> you, know, this, you know, when we were kids and all that. Well, and that's I, a nice thing to say. And this is me eating me dinner. I went, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, so, I'm surprised she's still... <laughs> you, you sound like a really awful husband. Uh, maybe that's, that's what yes, it is. Yes, because yeah. you should be going, hey, look, here's what you've got to do. I'd go through it as well. Pretend you're interested. <laughs> and you go, yes, darling, that's right. I was so And what I do is I have the PlayStation Portable going under there. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing tennis. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's a, it's a real kind of achievement to be together for that long. It's a great thing. I mean, it really is unusual in, in our line of work. Are you yeah. not tempted by the cheap women who throw themselves at you? Or oh, I've done them? loads of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's probably what keeps it fresh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <did he? laughs> yeah, no, I love a cheap tart. Move. Okay. <laughs> So listen, yeah. you must have been uh, with your with your wife before oh, well, you were. Oh, they've thrown me off this. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been with her before you were. I've said all the wrong things, haven't I, John? I don't <laughs> think you. I think you've been a great guest, but you can't sit there and say your wife's going through the menopause. But she'll understand. She's my friend. But she <laughs> probably not for much longer. <laughs> Yeah, she's my best friend. I mean, we, we sort of like that in our house. But well, that's know, really sweet. Like, yeah. That's why it survived them, because you're friends and you share yeah, things. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. But, but you see, the thing about Lee, I think, that's interesting is, you know, you, you kind of play... You, you don't play the fool, but, you, you know, you're kind of a large-in-life slapsticky character on stage. But you're a very smart man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You well, I know I... Yeah, no, I... <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I think what it is is I... I, I I'm a slight, I'm slightly a bit of a dreamer, actually. I like to sort of. There's a lot going on in my head, yeah. and but it doesn't all come out in the, the the right order. So, and and I've always been like that as a kid. No one really sort of understood. So, I was so at school, school, did they think you were going to amount to? I always thought I was slightly odd at school. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm, but I was just thinking other things. Did you, so when, when you started in showbiz, did you start doing the comedy straight away? Did you try No, no, that? I was uh, labouring on a building site and I just went in for some talent contests. The reason I did that, in the East End it was, up here, like the Globe and all that sort right. of stuff. And the reason I did that was it become it was just something we've always done in our family. It was quite a natural sort of to thing. To go on to stage? Do. Yeah, to go yeah. out and play something. Yeah. And so you started just playing instruments? You were performing Yes, yeah, so as a when I left art college, uh, I just sort of went and... Cos I was slightly freaky when I left there anyway, yeah. art college. <laughs> I was wearing odd socks and... <laughs> 
painting a lot. <laughs> and, uh, and I just went and played a few, and it sort of went down all right. So I sort of went from there, really. And you started making fun of you on stage? Um, yeah, I used to do this thing where I'd be playing the guitar really mental, like that, and I'd go... And then I'd, and then I'd go like that, and it would go round my neck, and I'd do this. <laughs> yeah, keep it going. And people used to go, how does he do that? How did you do that? I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> you had a sore neck when you went up. Yeah. Um, but do you know, what's this story uh, that you, you, you entered a, a talent com contest in America? Yeah, before yeah. Before you were well known over here. Yeah, I just saw you? an advert in the paper and it said uh, it was a thing called Star Search uh, International. I, I know that on TV over there. It's still, I don't know if they still do it, but it was a big thing, wasn't it? It was a big TV show. Yeah, yeah. This it was, was back massive. in the 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a big talent show. And I thought, well, I was d doing, I got friendly with a guy who runs the improv club in Los Angeles right. and uh, he let me sort of do an hour a week at the improv. And then I sort of saw this advert when I was out there and I went in for it and then I won five thousand dollars. Wow. So how old were you then? I was, oh, I don't know, must 19. So, well, that's so much confidence to go out to the States on your own when you're that yeah, age. Yeah, but I, like I said to Ever on the phone, I, I, it, I got nothing to lose because we had nothing at the beginning anyway. So, you know, it, you might, you're not taking a risk. So you went out and that really, I suppose, gave you the confidence to yeah, come back here? Yeah, I won here. it. I phoned Ever up. I said... <laughs> I've won five grand. And she went, what, you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. And we paid off all our debts. We had a bath in our kitchen. We, she used to do the cooking. I'd be, like, sat in the bath going, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was a right shitty old flat. And we, and yeah. Why was that? Work. I had a flat that had a bath with a little cooker next to it. What was, why That's did they think of all the spaces to put the cooker? Yeah, we'll put it in the kitchen. I have we'll no put it idea. in the bathroom. And, you, and this was a toilet as well, so you'd be taking a shit while you were cooking your beans. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Cut the middleman out, straight down, but it was like right there. Why not? Finally over. God, but you've come a long way in 20 years. You think about it, because, I mean, of all the comedians of, of that period, mm. people who started out and we knew them as comedians, so the fact that you've, you've made proper Hollywood movies that were successful, mm. uh, I mean, off the field, <laughs> well, no, but, I mean, a lot of them get, you know, a lot of comedians we know have had a chance in the States, they go and they do a film and it doesn't do so well. Yeah. You know, because it's very hard to get that right. Yeah. And yet there's something about your performance or your style or just you that, you know, you, you've got it right. I mean, something about Mary was a huge hit. Mouse Hunt was a big hit as well. Mm -hmm. And I know you were offered more films out there. Why didn't you stay? Why didn't you make a, a movie career for yourself? Because uh, I, I, I never set out to do to, 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 to do anything. I never set out to 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 specifically be a, uh, an actor because I'm not an actor. But you can act. I just blag it, Jonathan. Yeah, but you can act. I've seen you on stage, and I don't even like going to the theatre. And not just kind of comedy stuff. I saw you in Endgame yeah. with Michael Gambon, who's like, you know, one of the greatest actors, greatest living British actors. And you're oh, holding you on on stage fantastic, with him. Michael. Now, that was some play, because it's basically, it's a Samuel Beckett play. Samuel Beckett, yeah. Okay, and you played a character called Clove, and you had to limp around the stage. Yeah, I had to limp around the stage all night. Uh, shall I show you the limp? Yeah, because how long did you have to do that for? I remember sitting there thinking, but anyway, I thought, that must hurt your leg. Yeah, it? I, well, I can show you. Your, your chair's got wheels on, hasn't it? Yes. Well, I, it, Michael was in a wheelchair. Right. So, I mean, Come on then, I'll be Michael Gabbard. Right. And he was blind, wasn't he? What? He was blind, wasn't he? Yeah, he was blind. So let's insult another group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I can't see a bloody thing! <laughs> He's speaking like that. So that was it, that was the play, this is it. Well, it's, there's a bit more to it than this. No, that's it. Did he play it with his eyes shut, like this? Well, no. <laughs> well, I don't blame him, cos it's oddly... Yeah, and, this, and, and then I'd do this, and then what I'd do, Michael would, well, Michael would, I'd go, sort of go over here, uh -huh. like this. <laughs> with the limp, and then take him back. Jonathan, this is it, this is the play. I'll tell you what, you're right, that acting's easy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is anyone crying? <laughs> I, I, Michael Gambon is at home, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, but I had a limp, I had to do this limp, and it really hurt my hip for f uh, ten weeks. Yeah. And then halfway through the play, I used to sort of change legs. <laughs> what, on a given evening? Yeah, I'd be going over to Michael like this, and then I'd go... <laughs> 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 but didn't anyone notice? Yeah, he did, because he's meant to be blind. They did it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd go, you, he'd go, you switched lips, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd go, yeah, my hips are in my... <laughs> <laughs> well, that was all going on yeah. while I was watching the play. Yeah, and if, he, if it was a bad audience, <laughs> I'd take him to the back wall. We used to get in the wheelchair, go to the back wall, and you could hear Michael go... <laughs> He's the funniest bloke. There's only three. There's uh, three people I've worked with who are exactly the same mentality as uh, as Michael. It's Michael, Oliver Reed, and Chris Walkin. All those three have the same. They're they're, they're slightly um, mischievous. Yeah. And yet, when it comes down to doing the business, they're really professional. Okay. Lee, I genuinely like having you on the show. You're such a pleasant man to spend time with. You're funny and you're, you're, you know what's interesting about him is he actually, you know, I get the feeling that we, we see the person. 
Yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, good. Oh. I'm not saying we like the person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we, yeah. Do, we get this, you know, you're, you're honest about things, and that's quite unusual. Yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. Do you, well, do you want to know anything else personal? <laughs> <laughs> Give us your pin number. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should go and sit down and rest. All right, sir. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, the one and only Mr. Lee Evans. Thank you. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Have a seat down. Have a seat. Right, yeah, cheers. Lee Evans, ladies and gentlemen. He's a, a great guest, isn't he? Isn't he a great guest?